storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. In the county jail, Walden Correctional Facility. I was abducted by extraterrestrials. I've had multiple encounters. I've, I've been getting abducted since I was five years old. But this particular one, the most important encounter happened when I was in jail. I was in my cell and I remember just, I remember I was, I, I had a detainer. I, I was bailed out on one case, but I had a detainer for probation so I couldn't get out of jail. And of course I didn't snitch on nobody. So it was no way I can get out of jail. I'm getting ready to go to trial this that and the third so i remember i told the universe i was like listen i'm not even asking to get out of jail early or asking for nothing i'm like whatever happens at my trial happens because i'm gonna fight it like a man all i'm asking is that whenever i get out of jail i get to live a righteous life and when i said that as i told y'all before i felt this frequency come over my chest okay and after that i got abducted by extraterrestrials and i was now do you get abducted from your mind or your literal physical body I mean, stop storm I was looking down at my fucking body. My body was on this. Listen, the room looked like a spoon. It was like metallic. You know how a spoon looked metallic? The whole motherfucking room was metallic. I put this on my kids. Put this on my dead homie brother. I'm not making the story up. I'm on the table. My body is on the motherfucking table, son. It's some beings around my body. And I'm, I'm floating above my body looking down at my fucking body, Storm. Like this. And I'm floating above my body. And it's a being on the right of me. And, and I'm able to like view everything except it's like it's like some kind of force that's stopping me from looking to the right. So goddamn, boom, the being is communicating with me telepathically. And I kind of trusted the being because it asked me for my permission. And I noticed that. It's not like it's not like you know, they just grabbed me and was like, we doing whatever. Like they asked me for my permission. Ask you to go or ask you to answer you? Ask me to operate on me. To operate on you. And they said they was fixing me. So, mm. yeah, they said. What they were was, they fixing? What were they fixing? Listen, at my 33rd vertebrae right here, right? All I can tell you is they was doing something to my nervous system, bro. And it felt like when somebody take two wires and keep tapping them. That's the best thing I could, I could, I could give it to you. Like It's like somebody was tapping two wires. And, and and I felt the pain, but it wasn't like the volume wasn't high. So like, let's say out of one to 10 volume, the pain at first was like 2.7. Okay. So, so I'm psychologically communicating with the being and it's a, it's a, it's a mad, it's a man, but it don't look like me and you. It don't what look, does like it look like, what does it look like? I couldn't see it all the way. It wouldn't let me look at it. And it was only answering questions that were relevant. It wasn't answering questions that it felt was irrelevant. Like I asked it, where was it from? It didn't respond. I asked it, what was his name? It didn't respond. And then I asked it, you know, like, am I safe? Are y'all trying to hurt me? They was like, yeah, you stay. It, it, it responded to that. Like, you safe. And I'm like, what y'all doing? Like, what do y'all want with me? And they was like, we fixing you. Mm. And they said they was fixing me. Swear to God on my kids. And then they asked me for my permission to operate. And I was like, yeah. And then goddamn, as, as the beings that was operating on my body was doing whatever they was doing, the pain started just going up. And I remember just going like, uh, and that shit just started going up more and more and more. Then they paused and asked me, was I okay? I'm like, yeah, y'all can continue. So I kept giving the beans permission to continue all the way up until the pain got so excruciating. I just came back in my body and I came back to earth. And I woke back up in my cell. And so you know, the, so you know the people going to say, nah, that was LSD. Nah, he was just dreaming. I never did, I never did drugs before jail. When I was on the street, I never did drugs. I didn't even smoke weed on the street. I just started smoking weed like two, three years ago. I have not smoked weed my whole life. I know I didn't even smoke weed. Nobody on Buffalo, New York, the only thing niggas could say they ever see me do was sell weed, fuck bitches, and shoot niggas. That's it. You ain't never seen me do a drug. Now, now listen, they talking about Storm understand. Listen, I've never been abducted by aliens, and I think aliens are spiritual beings. I just don't know if they're technically demonic or not, but that's more of like a Christian belief. But do you feel like those were demonic spirits? Like, what do you feel it was? Nah, hell no. Nah. Whatever they were, they were positive. And that's okay. my life. That shit, nigga, I've been on my best behavior. Storm. Storm. Do you know how much crime I have committed in my life? Nigga, I'm being watched by the CIA. I've been investigated by the FBI. 
And I ain't gonna lie, the FBI ain't even know that I was who I was until I said that shit on the song. And I only said that shit because uh, I thought somebody was coming to my house trying to assassinate me. Maybe they was, maybe they was. But I said that to say this. That, that shit, nigga, that shit turned me to a straight-A student. And I was fucking niggas up. Nigga, I was punching niggas in their mouth in that holding center. Wow. What's up with that beef shit? Wow. Like, nigga, I stayed in the box. So, okay. nigga, I was in the box fighting in the box. So you saying you came you came back a better man than what they took up? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So why? So, so now the people want to also know why'd you get the eye tattoo? Uh, it's a sigil. It's a magic seal to protect me from evil and allow me to see evil as well. Oh, oh, see, I see. I have no clue about that stuff. I I didn't know because a lot of people they were saying uh, I was reading the comments. It was like it was after he got the eye tattoo, his life started falling apart. So I said I'm gonna ask him. He started talking shit. Soon as I got the eye tattoo, they was talking about you dumb as hell. Why would you get that? You're not gonna ever be able to get a job. But little dude, did all y'all know, bitch? I'm a millionaire. I don't need a job. That's why I got it. Cause I don't have to go to a job interview, motherfucker. I'm a CEO and a banker, asshole. But long story short, boom. So yeah, I got abducted. Now, where am I at in this story? Yeah. So coming back, yeah, you got abducted. You came back, and it changed my life, bro. And it's and I know for and and I started researching extraterrestrials even harder. Cause I was already, I was already like I knew who Aleister Crowley was when I was 15 years old. I already had knew about all a lot of shit. But when I actually got abducted my damn self and I could remember it, and it was like, nigga, it wasn't no, it wasn't no, it wasn't an experience where I was like, man, I think that shit happened. No, nigga, that shit happened. Like I remember now, that shit. Now Aleister Crowley, that's the head of the Church of Satanism, right? No. Aleister Crowley was uh what was this shit? The order of the order. Oh, order. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not the order. He's, because he's known as an English occultist. Yeah, but he, uh, he's from overseas. He, he, he's from overseas. Long story short, he participated in like 150 something child sacrifices. I did a whole lecture on this nigga. I, I, I got to look back into it. But long story short, nah, he he he's the one who created the term do without wilt. Like basically okay. talk the universal law, do what you want to do. He created that term. Yeah, that's Aleister Crowley. So, what you gonna call it? He's the, the nigga. Is the mama, so this is, ooh, Jesus. Yeah, and he listen. He was so evil. His mama called him the devil when he used to, when he used to sign his name on paper. He used to write the beast, and he used to fuck with Madame Blavatsky. You feel me? And Madame Blavatsky was the one who introduced Satanism to the Hindus. And motherfuckers don't even know her. Her secret society was headed by a Hindu motherfucker. But long story short, you know what I mean? Get back on point. And if y'all interested in any of this, go to Hyde University, just go to Religions Exposed and go to Luciferianism, Satanism, Wiccanism, and all that shit. It's all in there. But long story short, so boom, I ended up breaking one, breaking all my son's mind because, oh, here's how we got to the alien shit. Yeah, because I channel spirits, bro. I channel. Now, yeah, that, that's Madame Blavatsky right there, y'all. So I channel spirits. So long story short, when I'm asleep, right, that's when I channel the most and channel the best. You feel me? So... Long story short, I'm asleep, and ancestors showed me in a dream that my son mom is cheating on me. Uh, it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.